I have had this cooler for about six months now. I have a 4U case and other coolers would not fit. I have a 9900K and have it overclocked to 4. 6 GHZ and it is stable. I originally had it at 5 GHZ and it was not stable, so, I brought it down to stable 4. 6 over the span of a month or so so I could watch how it reacted. I added another fan to the bottom of the cooler. The 4. 6 GHZ is probably more of a issue with the case and not the cooler. If it was a bigger case maybe I could reach 5. 0 GHZ. Either way I did not know if I could OC period with a 4U case. Glad I can with this cooler. Caught it on sale and replaced a Noctua NHL 9X65, which moves less air, so the mounting bracket system was the same. Had to remove the fan to access the two hold down screws then mounted the fan in the upper position, and blowing down. Not sure what the most efficient cooling position is and Noctua instructions did no say but they did note the upper position is the more quiet position besides including two extra fan wire holders if you want to run two fans in both mounting positions, and noted to use the throttle cable on the up. The setup is large but horizontal and would clear everything in my case even if using two fans. Upper PCIe slot is available with the setup. Memory sticks nearer the heat pipes can be removed without much trouble. At 500 revolutions per minute for my AMD 65 watt TDPA series 4 cores plus 8 graphic cores CPU, APU chip. This cooling system keeps it running 20C or less above ambient temperature and does it silently and I mean silently. When I set the RPM to 1500 revolutions per minute it will sound a noticeable whir and at the same time created a breeze outside my mid-tower case, I kid you not. At this speed the chip temperature is about the same at idle when running at 500 revolutions per minute. So, I set BIOS to normal fan control and forget about it, not using the throttle down cable included in the kit. That is not to say I don't push the system when rendering because I do and get 100% core usage on all four cores for an hour or so. But I used Windows Experience Index Test, Base Score 6. 8 on this Gigabyte Sniper with 32 grams of 2, 133 MHz memory, running at 107,860 Kelvins, to max the cores out and temperatures hovered around 70 C during the test versus about 55 C at idle according to CPU IDHW monitoring software. Fan only maxed to 976 revolutions per minute but I never heard it during the quick test. Entire system spiked once to 95 watts but CPUs drew no more than 40 watts during the test. Anyway, you get the idea and I get the silence I always dreamed about with a computer chip that is in the middle of the road for heat production. This model normally runs cool even if overclocked 4 grams plus. Click link in description for more reviews.